In this video, we're going to be looking at the uh, FEMV, the, uh, this is the uh, FV uh, AXE 3000. So this is the Wi-Fi 6E uh, PCI Express card. So as you can see, the Express card um, actually goes into your PCI Express slot on your motherboard. And it's a one-time slot. So you can see here it's shortened um, and it comes with a, a short bracket for uh, small cases as well. And then you've got the normal size ones and the two aerials sockets here. Um, I've done another previous video so you can see more detail about the unboxing of this. So the reason for this follow-up video is because um, I want to install a bigger graphics card in my computer. And currently this sits... Um, next to the uh, underneath the uh, gra old graphics card so i want to uh, replace this and as we know normally uh, with these cards um, what they have underneath the heat sink here is actually a just a small um, pcie um, express card so a little tiny card and, uh, and thankfully i've got a slot that's um, on my motherboard that i can actually use so I'm hoping that the underneath here, from what I can see when I did the unboxing, it looks like there's a card on there and all they're doing is using this as an adapter and putting a heat sink on top of it. Um, so the heat sink is not too bad, but is actually doing anything I don't really know. Um, but so yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just trying to undo the heat sink from this uh, card um, and then see hopefully that underneath there is a PCA the express uh, little card that i can actually put into my motherboard and that'll free up a, a larger pci express um, slot that's on there and also what i did from aliexpress is i bought a small kit um, so hopefully this will have the new aerials so you've got the two connections so if i open this up you'll see that this has the uh, the aerial connections that i need so these will go on to the PCI Express card that's underneath here hopefully um, and then this will go into the back of the case so this will just take up a, a bottom slot that I've got on the back of the case and it, and thankfully with the adapter set I got from AliExpress it wasn't very expensive it comes with the two uh, brackets as well and some screws so hopefully that will fit for purpose for what I need um, and um, it will fit there everything so uh, let's get on so first of all i'm going to see there's four screws here i've already take, managed to get one of the screws out so that what it actually kind of piece is using it's not using a normal uh, phillips or a uh, screwdriver it's actually using a different kind of a uh, small little uh, i don't know hexagonal um, piece so lucky enough i've got that in there and I don't think it's glued down too much. So the heatsink normally has like a CPU or anything else like that in your GPU. Normally on top, they, in between, they put some kind of um, like silver um, heat resistant. So it transfers the heat from the actual CPU or the, or the actual device to the heatsink. So um, I'm not too sure, so you might, I might have to be a bit forceful to get this off. Do it depends on how they're doing it. So I think I'm getting the uh, the screws out. Oh, comes off uh, not too bad. You see, they've got small little screws. Um, and the last one, there's so that. It's got four screws in the heat sink. Um, thankfully, yep, that's the uh, hopefully the last one has come out. Just put them to one side, and hopefully that that's come off. So as you can see, they have got some kind of uh, like a sticky tape to transfer the heat from the actual card um, going on to the heat sink. So at least they've got something there to um, take the heat, but these shouldn't get too hot anyway. So thankfully that's come off quite easy with the screws. And as we can see underneath here, it does have the Intel AX210 NGW. So that is the actual um, Intel chip that's a Wi-Fi 6E compatible. 
and I did verify that when I installed it in my computer. So as we can see, what they're doing is basically this is just an adapter. Um, so what I want is this card and I can plug this into my motherboard and then um, and then I can use the cables that I've got here to hopefully connect on there and uh, then use the aerials that came with it as well. So as we can see here, we've got that's the main and auxiliary. So it's aerials one and two, and I believe this does have Bluetooth uh, built into it. Um, so we'll have to see. So I think it's literally quite easy. So hopefully we'll just have to pry these two off. Let's use my nails. And as you can see here, uh, so yeah, they just come off and clicked. And then hopefully, um, make it another, what you do is unscrew here. And uh, as we can see, it, uh, we can get the right bits. Let's have a look. So, underneath, I must say that the build quality is okay, to be honest, for the money. And you're getting Wi Fi 6E as well. Um, so it is a brand new technology and again it is just an adapter so just be careful it does come up a little bit from the card and then you just take it out and it's simple as that so i don't need that anymore so i can take that and put it to one side and there's the chip so that's all i, I need to put into my motherboard uh, so yes this has just been a quick video on uh, dismantling this and showing you the different option you do have if you want to free up like myself the PCI Express card uh, uh, the slot on, on your motherboard and you can just put this in there and then I'll put a link to the kit that I got as well from Aliexpress it wasn't very expensive uh, and arrived within about uh, two weeks um, so it was quite quick as well and included the aerials the brackets and the uh, cables here okay uh, thanks very much for watching i hope you found this a uh, little bit useful and uh, have a good day